to hook or not to hook? This is a question that has plagued many of the great players in the game. Some love the shot and play it as often as possible, like Mark Taylor, while Steve Waugh doesn't. It is a dangerous shot, but if you play it well, it can get you a lot of runs. And away it goes, over the top. You need to be 38 feet tall to touch that. 100 up for Australia. When the bowler pitches short and strays towards leg, it's the batsman's opportunity to get inside the line and hook. Getting into the correct position quickly is paramount. We want to move onto our back foot with a decisive step back and across and get our head and eyes inside the line of the ball. This ensures that if we miss the ball, it will pass safely through to the keeper rather than cracking you in the scone. As with most shots we play in cricket, we should try and keep the ball on the ground, so we need to roll our wrists over the ball as we hit it. A good way to practice the hook shot is to get someone to throw tennis balls to you. Once you feel comfortable with that, put the necessary protective equipment on and get real cricket balls thrown at you. Keeping in mind the most important thing is to get your head and eyes inside the line of the ball and to keep the ball on the ground, roll those wrists. So happy hooking. That's up in the air. He's played it nicely though, Paul Collingwood. He's beaten Brad Williams down on the fence.